did Jakobsen crawl this far? Can I identify the scratches his nails ruined into the rocks? Am I following him cell for cell, inch for inch? Why did he turn back on himself and not carry through to the ascent? Well, we fell a very long distance. And when it appeared, we broke our flashlight. Super. Oh, it would appear that we have some natural f fluorescent mushrooms. Nice. I feel like, uh,. Pippin. Mushrooms! This is a very neat looking cave. Stop the traffic back as far as the Sanford Junction and come up the hard shoulder like radio signals from another star. It took 21 minutes for them to arrive. I watched Paul time it to the second on his watch. Interesting. I honestly have no idea what these markings mean, but they're interesting all the same. Exactly going down. you oh no just the light was shining oddly
Whoa. If the caves are my guts, this must be the place where the stones are first formed. The bacteria phosphoresce and rise, singing through the tunnels. Everything here is bound by the rise and fall, like a tide. Perhaps the whole island is actually underwater. Cool. I still want to have a look over here. There's something right here. Eggs. Nest. In here? So we got some pictures. Pictures of a woman. Um. Uh. Looks maybe like a. Pregnancy picture kind of deal. And a picture of. X-ray of a foot? I don't know. Hmm. Sally forward. Big cave. This system must be pretty massive. I mean, it probably goes out throughout the entire island. Looks like a synapse to me. I mean, that's just me. But whoa! Cool. When I was coming round from the operation, I remember the light they shone in my eyes to check for pupil contraction. It was like staring up at a moonlit sky from the bottom of a well. People moved to the summit, but I could not tell if you were one of them. Okay, so... Our character had gallstones... Oh, not gallstones. Kidney stones. Um, holy shit. Away from, away from being a city. And it shall be a ruinous Ruinous? No. Yeah, Ruinous. Keep. Okay. Seems our character might be a little uh, wacky. Probably taking a hit from that wacky tobacco, man. all that 
stuff is. Actually, I really don't want to know. Never mind. Forget it. Are we going down again? probably symbolizes uh, maybe an operation that they tried to do to try to save her life and just by throwing money at it it really work. I don't know. That's just my own observation. Looks like that's our exit out of here, people. All right. So it looks like we found a little camp here. Well, that's a neat little cave opening. So we got some discarded clothes, some paint cans, a few boxes, some kegs, some random stuff like that. I wish I could have known Donnelly in this place. We would have had so much to debate. Did he paint these stones or did I? Who left the pots in the hut by the jetty? Who formed the museum under the sea? Who fell silently to his death into the frozen waters? Who erected this godforsaken aerial in the first place? Did this whole island rise to the surface of my stomach, forcing the gulls to take flight? This guy's very weird. All right, so looks like we got some. Uh, I really don't know what those are. They look like docks, or like the, uh, uh oh. Oh, pictures of car wreck. With a pocket full of stolen ash. Oh, neat. Half of it fell out of my coat and vanished into the car's upholstery. But the rest, I carefully stowed away in a box I kept in a drawer by the side of my bed. It was never intended as a meaningful act, but over the years it became a kind of talisman. I'd sit still quite still for hours, just holding the diminishing powder in my palm and noting its smoothness. In time, we will huh. be worn down into granules, washed into the sea, and dispersed. Medical equipment. Oh, weird. Okay, so here's my uh, hypothesis so far. Um, my bet is that 
he is stranded on this island or has been for quite some time uh he's probably on one of those boats that we saw shipwrecked earlier and he's been stuck here ever since and has gone a little loopy which would explain quite a bit but i think he is the one who has is creating all these like the chemical diagram right there and all the other signs that we see along the walls he's the one who's been lighting all these candles i mean i guess that's a picture of esther i mean obviously he's he's heartbroken over the loss and probably never gotten over it i mean but that's just my opinion i mean you can make of it or whatever you like i mean this guy Whoever we're looking through could have just been somebody washed up on shore, but I don't know. Let's see, now there's even. Car wreck. Huh! It's kind of weird, isn't it? Okay, do you see something over there? Oh no, it's just a shade of rock. Oh. I thought I saw that shadowy being that I saw earlier. There were chemical diagrams on the mug he gave me coffee in, sticky at the handle where his hands shook. He worked for a pharmaceutical company with an office based on the outskirts of Wolverhampton. He'd been traveling back from a sales conference in Exeter, forming a strategic vision for the peddling of antacid yogurt to the European market. You could trace the connections with your finger, join the dots, and whole new compounds would be summoned into activity. Okay, uh, the chemical diagrams. Maybe he, he knows... Maybe he's worked with chemical diagrams or studied it? I don't know. Looks like we got some dead birds here. Have you ever noticed, like on, on dead animals, the face is always eaten first? I always notice that. That's the first thing to be decomposed. From here, I can see my armada. I collected all the letters I'd ever meant to send to you, if I'd have ever made it to the mainland, but had instead collected at the bottom of my rucksack, and I spread them out along the lost beach. Then I took each and every one, and I folded them into boats. I folded you into the creases, and then, huh. as the sun was setting, I set the fleet to sail. Shattered into 21 pieces, That's I neat. consigned you to the Atlantic, and I sat here until I'd watched all of you sink. That's really cool. Just took a snapshot, because I like the view. It's pretty cool. Looks like we got a little storage area over here. Well, somebody had to build that aerial. A little calm tower. All on a sudden, a light from the heaven shone around him and he fell to the ground. Hmm. Curious. Hmm. Look at all this. This little diagram over there. Um. Yeah, he must be stranded here. He must have been stranded here for a long time. And it slowly lost his mind. The pain in my leg sent me blind for a few minutes as I struggled up the cliff path. I swallowed another handful of painkillers and now I feel almost lucid. The island around me has retreated to a hazed distance, whilst the moon appears to have descended into my palm to guide me. I can see a thick black line of infection reaching for my heart from the waistband of my trousers. Whoa, 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 whoa. Through the fugue, it 
to all the world like the path I have cut Do you see that? The towards the aerial. Right there. Okay, there's that being I saw earlier. Right there. You see him right, right next to the candle? Ah! I was right. I told you I wasn't going crazy. <laughs> see, there he is. That is so weird. Wonder if I can get up here. Dude. That is freaky as hell, man. Alright. I've begun my voyage in a paper boat without a bottom. I will fly to the moon in it. I want to see if he's up here. Folded along a crease in time, a weakness in the sheet of life. Now you've settled on the opposite side of the paper to me. I can see your traces in the ink that soaks through the fiber, the pulped vegetation. When we become waterlogged and the cage disintegrates, we will intermingle. When this paper aeroplane leaves the cliff edge and carves parallel vapor trails in the dark, we will come together. That's where he was, right there. He was right here. Huh. I think maybe um I don't know. That's kind of strange. And as he was proceeding on his journey Curious, very curious. Um, and as no, and was come near to pay. I can't really read that, it's really. I must have been in pain for a long time. He's probably been hallucinating the hell. I mean, look at all this. How could he even get up if there? If only Donnelly had experienced this, he would have realized he was his own shoreline, as am I. Just as I am becoming this island, so he became his syphilis, retreating into the burning synapses, the stones, the infection. Maybe he's hallucinating all this? I don't know. I mean, he's... He hurt his leg, right? So, maybe he's been hurt for a very long time, and now that the infection has grown... headlights reflected in these retinas. Too long in the tunnels of my island without a bottom. The sea creatures have risen to the surface, but the gulls are not here to carry them back to their nests. I've become fixed. Open and staring, an eye turned on itself. I've become an infected leg whose tracking lines form a perfect map of the junctions of the M5. My bunker? I will take the exit at mid thigh and plummet to my Esther. Huh. He means to kill himself. Looks like we're about to reach the conclusion of our journey, friends. We're climbing up to what seems to be the end. Damn, that's high. Whoa. Don't look down. Okay, I look down.
He was not drunk, Esther. He was not drunk at all. He had not drunk with Donnelly or Spat Jakobsen back at the sea. He had not careered across the lost shores and terminal beaches of this nascent archipelago. He did not intend his bonnet to be crumpled like a spent tissue by the impact. His windscreen was not star-studded all over like a map of the heavens. His paintwork etched with circuit diagrams, strange fish to call the gulls away. The phosphorescence of the skid marks might be CF5 all the way from Exeter to Damascus. He is crazy. This guy must be nuts. He's losing it big time. Looks like we're reaching the final steps of our journey. I hope you guys have enjoyed this little uh, departure from the norm into something a little bit that I feel uh, is great to experience. Trails in the air. White lines etched into these rocks. So I hope you guys enjoy what comes up next. I have snap freeze and Dear Esther, enjoy. I have burnt my belongings, my books, this death certificate. Mine will be written all across this island. Who was Jacobson? Who remembers him? Donnelly has written of him, but who was Donnelly? Who remembers him? I have painted, carved, hewn, scored into this space all that I could draw from him. There will be another to these shores to remember me. I will rise from the ocean like an island without a bottom, come together like a stone, become an aerial, a beacon, that they will not forget you. We've always been drawn here. One day the gulls will return and nest in our bones and our history. I will look to my left and see Esther Donnelly flying beside me. I will look to my right and see Paul Jacobson flying beside me. They will leave white lines carved into the air to reach the mainland, where help will be sent. Come back.